poetry is a piece of writing that partakes of the nature of both speech and song that is nearly always rhythmical, usually metaphorical, and often exhibits such formal elements as meter, rhyme, and stanzaic structure. A poem is something that follows a particular flow of rhythm or meter. Compared to prose, where there is no such restrictions, and the content of piece flows according to story, a poem may or may not have a story, but definitely has a structured method of writing. In poetry, a stanza is a grouped set of lines within a poem, usually set off from others by a blank line or indentation. Stanzas can have regular rhyme and metrical schemes, though stanzas are not strictly required to have either. We can say that a stanza is a dividing and organizing technique which places a group of lines in a poem together. Stanzas are to poetry what paragraphs are to prose. There are numerous types of stanzas ranging in complexity and length. Here are some of the most common types of stanzas. A couplet is a pair of successive lines of meter in poetry. It usually consists of two successive lines that rhyme and have the same meter. A tercet is composed of three lines of poetry, forming a stanza or a complete poem. A quatrain is a type of stanza, or a complete poem, consisting of four lines. Syncane is a class of poetic forms that employ a five-line pattern. A sestet is a six-line stanza of poetry. It can be any six-line stanza, one that is, itself, a whole poem, or one that makes up a part of a longer poem. Basically speaking, in poetry a septet is a poem consisting of seven lines, and of any form or meter. An octave is a set of eight lines of poetry. Simply, octave can be used to refer to any eight lines of poetry that make a poem or a specific stanza rhymed or unrhymed, following a specific meter or not. A rhyme is a repetition of similar sounds in the final stressed syllables and any following syllables of two or more words. Most often, this kind of perfect rhyming is consciously used for artistic effect in the final position of lines within poems. I saw a fairy in the wood, he was dressed all in green. He drew his sword while I just stood, and realized I'd been seen. Rhyming scheme is the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line of a poem or song. It is usually referred to by using letters to indicate which lines rhyme. Lines designated with the same letter all rhyme with each other. In poetry, meter is the basic rhythmic structure of a verse, or lines in verse. Rhythm can be described as the beat and pace of a poem. Rhythm is created by the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in a line or verse. 
rhythm can help to strengthen the meaning of words and ideas in a poem. The theme is the underlying message that the writer or artist wants to convey. Themes can feature in poetry, a short story, a novel, or even a work of art. It can be something as simple as love, or as something more complex, such as human versus nature. In poetry and other forms of writing, symbolism is often used to convey a specific meaning to the audience. Why say, I'm lonely, when you can paint a picture of a lone moon, wandering companionless, through the night sky? How beautiful is that? In poetry, imagery is a vivid and vibrant form of description that appeals to readers' senses and imagination. It is used in poetry to help the writing appeal to the senses. Imagery is one of the seven categories of figurative language. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host, of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze.